Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, we're going to look ahead to the Arsenal game. We're going to look at Leandro Trossard's move to Arsenal as well, as he could be making his debut against Manchester United. Some of Eric Ten Hag's quotes um, ahead of that game um, as well. we got plenty to get stuck into, as well as Jadon Sancho's return to first team training for Manchester United, which will be music to the ears of all Manchester United fans. A huge boost to the team. Probably not available for this weekend and playing against Arsenal. But nevertheless, to see him back in first team training um, is a good sign. And hopefully he's someone that can rejoin the team um, and get involved with the first team ASAP. And obviously, Ten Hag still on the lookout for other players to re well to join the team and to sign up to Manchester United. And he's had a few comments on January transfer. So we'll get stuck into all of those things. Make sure you're keeping it locked by hitting that subscribe button, liking, commenting, and sharing. And remember, tomorrow is the start of the club. Myself, Rory, and Boovy will be live for the Chelsea Liverpool game um, from 12 o'clock. The links are in the description below for the club. So make sure you're following us on all socials and subscribing to the YouTube channel. Anyway, let's get stuck into this. We'll start off with some quotes from Eric Ten Hag. And he has said um, on January transfer signings, um, I think as MUFC, you always have to look for solutions. You always have to look for better. And that is what we will do. We will be doing our research. And if there are opportunities, we have to go for it. That's coming from Eric Ten Hag. Um, who clearly wants to strengthen the team. We clearly need to strengthen the team. That's why I don't think Manchester United are in a title race this season, unless City and Arsenal, you know, drop loads of points or, you know, something like that. Um, I can't see United being in there because if we have a few injury problems, which will happen, you know, when the Europa League restarts, we hope to re remain in the FA Cup and, you know, the games start coming thick and fast. We have one or two injuries to players that are key to the first 11. We've got huge problems. Um, and, you know, we were already looking at this game with Cas without Casemiro. You know, Rashford went down the other day. Everyone was worried about that. So we clearly need to strengthen the squad and strengthen the bench um, and some positions in the first 11 um, until we can really look at, you know, having a real, real title challenge. Um, on uh, having no Casemiro, Ten Hag said, we beat Arsenal last time. Without Casemiro, we have an idea of how to deal with that. And that's one of the things that I am quite confident in. Weirdly enough, um, if we had beaten Palace, I think I'd be more nervous for this game than I am. I'm actually weirdly confident, hoping that they kind of take it for granted that they're going to get three points. Um, but I'm confident Ten Hag will have something up his sleeve. My only worry is you've got to possibly play McTominay. Um, and look, God love him. You know, he tries on that, but ultimately he's not good enough. Um, and especially in these big games against the likes of Arsenal. You know, imagine the likes of Partey and um, Erdegaard would, would would have a field day if McTominay started. So I do think Ten Hag will have something up his sleeve, but I do worry about the replacements for Casemiro. Um, you know, it's it's difficult to replace him with, with the players that we have. Um, he also said, they are in a great run. It is up to us to beat their run. And we will do everything to do that. United have stopped runs by Arsenal before. And fingers crossed we can do it again. Huge game this weekend. I'll be on the paddock watch along for that one. So make sure you join us for that. And fingers crossed we'll be watching Manchester United on the road in London. Have a bit more luck than they did at Palace. And, and fingers crossed get three points as well. Big game for United. Um, and especially after Spurs you know, drop more points. A win for Manchester United will go a long way to helping us in our in our in, in our charge for Champions League football, which is the most important thing. As I said, Jaden Sancho is back in first team training as well, um, and we've seen him pitching in training, which is great to see. A little bit of um, snow as well um, at Carrington. It's been a little bit cold this week, uh, but Jaden Sancho back in training. And Ten Hag said on him, he's making the next step, and it is true that he was in uh, for the first time in team training. But I think training was a final training before a game. So we extend that in the coming days and weeks and then go step by step. So it doesn't sound like he's going to be ready for that Arsenal game. You've got the two games against Forest coming up. You've obviously got that game uh, against Reading as well. Maybe we're targeting that one for Jadon Sancho to start in. 
Um, but it'd be good to get him back in the squad. As I said as well, Arsenal have signed Leandro Trossard and they've signed him in time to be available for selection for that game against Manchester United. And it's going to be a difficult, difficult game. Arsenal have had the luxury of having a little bit of a rest as well this week, which will help them. Um, United have been in action, um, obviously travelling to Crystal Palace where we picked up that booking um, for Casemiro and now he'll be out of the game. Gabriel Jesus is their only player, key player that's missing while Al Neni is believed to be questionable for the game. We're likely to be without Diogo Delo, um, as I said, Jaden Sancho, Twan Zabi, Donny van der Beek and Casemiro's out of this game why Anthony Martial is a doubt. I'd be worried if Anthony Martial wasn't available to start as well. Um, you know, you have to give uh, Vekos a little bit of time, but I didn't think he was he was that good uh, midweek against Crystal Palace and against better opposition. I think we need someone like Anthony Martial that can hold the ball up for us in that uh, final third um, and also is very good on the counter-attack as well. That's like I said, I'm not right enough out there, guys. Let him get some more minutes in training and stuff with the with Manchester United side um, before we rush to judgment on him. Um, but it would be good if Anthony Martial was available for selection. Big, big game. If United win, we'd go five points behind Arsenal, although we would have played a game more than them. Um, and obviously, at the moment, we're sitting six points clear of Spurs and we've got a game in hand on Spurs who have got a trip to Fulham on Monday. So they could be dropping more points. Um, Liverpool played Chelsea this weekend. You know, hopefully it's a draw there and those two teams drop points because whilst, you know, they're both 11 points off United at the moment, United have got, a, uh, Liverpool have got a game in hand on us. Whilst they're both quite a while away, a bad run for United, a good run for one of them um, and it sees them bring themselves back into it. So we want to keep them as far out of the mix as possible and then focus on, you know, hopefully catching Man City and Arsenal. But, uh, Champions League is vitally important for United and a win against Arsenal would be massive and I wouldn't put it past us getting a result you know I really wouldn't put it past us getting a result because that's the kind of thing that we can do but it's going to be difficult in that game if you want to see how I think we should line up in that game I did a video yesterday um, called how Manchester United uh, can, will, uh, can beat uh, Arsenal without Casemiro um, so let us know your thoughts on the, the selection that I put in that video. Uh, make sure you're keeping it locked as well. As I said, we'll have reaction to that game on the channel on Sunday. We'll also have reaction to the Chelsea-Liverpool game as well. I'll get Rory or Boovy in the mix. We'll be in the, the, the club studio. So make sure you join us for the live uh, video of that, which will be on the YouTube channel. Uh, get following all the socials. And then, of course, I'll have a video up on here as well. Um, so a busy weekend ahead, but it should be a good one. And fingers crushed United end it by beating Arsenal. Anyway, I'll see you lot later.